Get ready to make your choice. Grape Coon versus Bonaparte Mizutori. Hello, darlings. Welcome to Winner's Round 1. Finally, we can now see if your choice will make the cut. Or not. But first, let's meet our two contestants, Greg Kuhn and Bonaparte Mizutori. So, uh, what do I do here anyways? I'm starting to get bored. Dude, you just got here. It's only been a couple of seconds, and this event is already eating my schedule. Well, Bonaparte darling, I know nothing about running a tournament. I'm just the host. Now what's the point of living today? Ugh, sometimes I wonder what it's like to be dead for a day. Really? Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I did not mean it like that. I'm honest. Don't worry, he gets that all the time these days. Well, okay, not really like that, but, uh, yeah. Hey, hey Esteban, what do we do anyways? Well, you do, because we don't have much money to get some equipment. Until further notice, we're all going to have our matches here in this living room. We're not actually fighting, right? I clean this house every Sunday. And I'm not sure if I should treat Grape Good as a ghost type Pokemon because, you know, he's a ghost. Is that... is that acceptable? No, 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 no. <laughs> Bonaparte, honey. Because you implemented house rules, the only fighting here is the voters in the comment section. If anyone bothers to type anything down there. If anyone is going to wrestle, it'll be in the backyard. You two can do whatever you want in this room. Fine by me. You know, Craig, you implemented all of this back in October, right? Shouldn't you know we should have something big for the two of them? In terms of money for special events... <gasps> we have no money for special events. So, in other words, our first match is going to be in this room with these two doing nothing. I never really thought this through. Ah, <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. Luckily, I always bring my Lucky Clam Pearl. Oh, Lucky Clam Pearl, tell me, what shall we do during this time of need? Huh. Must be at the batteries. What about Ultra Instinct Skeptile? Can't he do something about this? Like, take us to a temporary dimension where imaginations are real? Wait, who? We asked if he could do something for us, but he got some personal beef with Speed Boost Gear 5 Blaziken for months. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's busy with who? Speed Boost Gear 5 Blaziken. Well... He was just Speed Boost Blaze a kid, but he unlocked the whole gear thing like. weeks ago. It was pretty quick. Also, if I do meet him, the whole dimension traveling event does sound very interesting. So, what can you two pull out in this duel? He can throw a Shadow Clone Jutsu, but throwing a Shadow Ball is gonna be pretty tricky. Can you throw a Rasengan? Once he masters the Kamehameha, it'll be easy. Craig, sweetie, you're not really saying all of this randomly out of the blue, right? God loves Penguin so much, he gave us the power of telepathy. So, I'm gonna be speaking upon his behalf. <laughs> Stupid humans. They haven't figured out that we can do that. Pretty sure it's called body language. Body language. Body language. Yeah. Sentient hands grabbing a butts and shaking us around while talking upon our behalfs. You know, when I was interviewing Grape Kun, he possessed Longboy and he was able to talk. Okay, first of all, 
We don't say possess. It's called inspiriting. My house, my rules. Kaioken! Kyogre Ken? Kyo what? Ugh. Ah, <coughs> uh, never mind. Uh, considering that now I have to do this seven times in one round wasn't awful enough. Maybe the whole 16 interview things that I did, maybe I should have took it for granted. Is there a problem? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, nothing. Uh, say, is there anything you like to do together? Well, first of all, thank you, Grape Coon. Grape Sun? Sama? What do you prefer? He says either one is fine, but he does want to know why thank him. What did he do to you? You show the world that penguins can love anime as much as humans do. Huh? Anime? He has no idea what you're talking about. All he knows is that he misses Hururu and that's pretty much just it. Kemono Friends is an anime series. He does know that, right? He doesn't know. And it's best you don't tell him. You're telling me that he does not know what anime is, yet he knows how to pull off a Kaioken? He learned all of that from Japari Park. For some reason, someone called God, like way up there, told him that he went to a place called Heaven. Which is weird because the moment he stepped foot, it was Japari Park. Well, he doesn't care. As long as the afterlife has him and his wife, he could just doesn't mind... Um... Wait, you're telling me God exists? Okay, so God is real. So, uh, why are you here by yourself? Shouldn't you be, like, with your wife? Shouldn't he, like, also be here? Currently on band practice. Best of all, free front row seats. Lucky bird. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a girlfriend that'll get me front row seats to her free concerts. He says, good luck with that. And besides, every girl here is either a furry, a... He says good luck with that. And besides, every girl here is either a furry, a minor, a boy, or whatever that two-legged snail monster is. But there is that purple bird you could always make a nest with. You mean the purple owl with the hamster, right? Yeah, Koo the owl. You know Koo's a guy, right? And that is a problem because... You know... Hold it right there for a minute. I'm gonna go get some, uh, kimono books. Normally it's frowned upon to have anime girls as your actual wife, but, uh... You're an exception. In fact, I think you're the only one. Right? Yeah, I think Gribkun is the only one where everyone can agree that he can have a waifu and no one can claim it. But then again, wasn't there, like, one man who married Hatsune Miku? I... I think there was like a documentary about a guy who married to Hatsune Miku. Should we... should we... like... tell her that? Okay, I'm back! I found a couple of manga here. I only have two Kimono Friends manga and the rest are, uh... Well, there is Jojo Lands. I do want to look at some of the older previous chapters before I go into some new ones. You think he could read some with me? You really think that he's going to read all of that with you? Look, I understand the match is going to be very long and all, but... You think this is a bit exaggerating? Nonsense! Come on, let's go read this one. It's very small. Er... Short. It's a, it's a short book. Wait. No! I thought there would be more of them! I thought there would be more penguins in this book. Serval and Fennec are cute and all, but I expected more from the five. Aren't they already popular? I don't know what book you're reading, but uh... I think I got the lucky one. Lucky? Hmm? 
What is it? Is it this page? Oh, you miss her, don't you? Hururu? Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, Grape Goon is one lucky guy. Third time's a charm. Was it the third? Well, I do remember that he really had a bad luck when it comes to dating. Separated from his own child as well. Wow. That is a life I don't want to live in. Well, he lived it. So that no other penguin would. A lot of things can go through 20 years. 20 years? Grape Coon here is 21 years old. To a normal human, it sounds pretty young, but... It's actually extremely old in penguin years, really. So... If I do my human to penguin age calculation, which really doesn't exist, this will put him somewhere nearly... A hundred years old? Wow! You know, if I do that math as well, then that means... If... I was 20 years old in penguin, but that would make me a hundred, then... Well, I can't tell you my age, but what would that make you? Hmm. If that's the case, I'd be somewhat over the age of seven if I do that. You're 35? 37, actually. I'm 37 years old. Wow. You're old. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be uh, moving out over here. You got the gotcha for yourself. An emperor is better. What did you just say? Look, of all the penguin girls that happen to be in Kemono Friends, she just happens to be the better version. I mean, look, she's literally right there. I managed to bring her, unlike a certain other. Oh, oh, you did not just say that. And yes, I did. Grape Coon cannot fight, so. I will fight upon his behalf. Behalf? Behalf? Craig, you can't even last a quarter of a minute with me. You literally have some nerve saying that in front of him. He's your hero. You look up to him. And I'm looking down on him. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, it's a waifu war. I heard these things are gonna get very dirty, so I'm just gonna be uh, going over here and uh, watching the view. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, come on, grape coon. This way, this way, this way. I'm using Peck. Take another one. Whoa, uh -oh. this ain't good. <laughs> you can't hide away from me forever. Hmm. Where did he go? Hmm. He's not here. Hello? Huh. Where did he go? Psst. Nothing personal, kid. <gasps> hey, I was wondering if you. <laughs> Holy moly! Bonaparte! You just smacked Craig into three different angles! Uh, was that bad? I mean, I didn't expect it, but... Well... Um, what do you think, Grape Coon? <laughs> oh, now you can talk! Well, it was more of a squawk. Well, this was, uh... 
weird way of doing our first match. Um, well, we're going to get Craig to a nearby Pokemon Center. And until then, I guess I'll see you in the next match. Uh, seriously, are we going to get this uh, fixed up? Get ready to make your choice. Grapecoon versus Bonaparte Mizutari.